Stop them! Don't let them into the building! To some extent, the principles behind accessibility are good universal design principles. So thankfully, we're able to think about, okay, well, if this information is only available on screen, well, then it's not accessible to a blind player. Or if this information is something you only hear. Joel, there's a guy up on that second floor right there. It's not accessible to a deaf player. One of the frontiers that we've pushed on the most uniquely is vision accessibility. We have navigation assistance. We have this enhanced listen mode that lets you scan for enemies. And that suite of features enables the gameplay to be played by players who are blind and have low vision. I think that's something quite remarkable in the video game space. There's not a lot of games I've seen do that. And the feedback we've gotten on that has been incredible. As she surveys the apartment, her eyes wander to Joel. She steps past the couch. He wears the wristwatch Sarah gifted him, which now has a cracked face. All sorts of people in the past wanted to play our games and just couldn't. They just had some limitation that didn't allow them to play our games. So it's really exciting that people that have all sorts of limitations can now jump into part one and again seamlessly transition to part two because they share those same award-winning accessibility features. <laughs>